Welcome to part three of our Machine Learning 101 series. In this video, we'll discuss prescriptive analytics. In part one of this series, we talked about how a baseball team used a supervised learning approach to figure out which players would give them the best shot at getting to the playoffs. In our second video, we discussed how video streaming services used an unsupervised learning approach to categorize and group your movie ratings to suggest new programs you might like. These are both examples of predictive analytics. We use machine learning models to determine what is most likely to happen in the future based on past results. Prescriptive analytics is different. Prescriptive analytics uses results from machine learning algorithms to inform future decisions. Put another way, prescriptive analytics tells you how to answer a business question. Let's think back to the Moneyball story from part one of this series. Essentially, the Oakland A's had two competing objectives. Find the best players, but players they could afford on their limited budget. They had to find the right balance between two competing objectives. A baseball team can also apply a prescriptive analytics process that, first, uses an unsupervised algorithm to group all available players into clusters based on their performance statistics, then uses a supervised algorithm to predict which players will perform well based on a set of independent variables. Finally, the team can use an optimization algorithm to assign actions like hire or don't hire to each candidate. With this process in place, every time a new player becomes available, team management will know instantly how to proceed. Prescriptive analytics workflows are repeatable. With prescriptive analytics, the object is to optimize and to some extent automate the decision-making process. A prescriptive analytics workflow can use multiple algorithms to prescribe actions based on the characteristics of new data. 